<laughs> Do you ever just be driving on the road and you're at a stoplight? And at the stoplight, there's a little sidewalk boulder in between the two opposing streets with a man holding a sign asking for money. Do you ever be walking out of a 7-Eleven or a dollar store even, and you see a homeless nigga on his knees asking for change? I know a lot of you guys have seen this sort of thing before. Now, usually when homeless people are asking for money, the usual thing to assume is that if you were to actually give them some sort of compensation, they will take the money that had been given to them into quite possibly using said money to, you know, feed themselves or, or keep the money for a day where they're really needed. I mean, like, that's okay okay to assume like, like like for real that's okay to assume like there's nothing wrong with assuming that but this isn't the case for every single homeless person though let me tell you a quick story i was a 16 year old bald-headed malteser that went to subway one day with my mom and as we were trying to enter the restaurant through the front door we discovered this homeless man that was leaning on the window right next to the restaurant door the homeless man said to us Please help me. I need money. Please. Then my mom said, Sorry, I don't have any money. Uh, which I found quite funny considering we were going inside of the restaurant to purchase food with money. But <laughs> anyways, she said that and then we went inside, ordered our food, got our food, paid for our food, and we sat down and ate our food. Now, as we were finishing up our food, I started to feel full as fuck. Like, it, I was so full that if a random person dropped one of their belongings on the floor and I bent over to pick it up, I'd probably shit bricks out of my ass. It was one of them cases where I wish I wore a diaper in case some bullshit like that happened. So then, as I was holding my stomach, I turned around and looked at the window to see if the homeless man was still there. And to no surprise, he still was. And nigga was staring at me like he was a little dirt. Then I looked at my unfinished half-eaten sandwich. And then I asked my mom if I could give my unfinished sandwich to the homeless man. And my mom said, sure, you know, as long as he doesn't have allergies. So we packed up our belongings, left the restaurant, and we went back to the homeless man. The homeless man then asked the same thing again. Please help me. I need money. Please. So then I asked him, uh, do, do you have any allergies? Then the homeless man said, no. So then I proceed to offer my unfinished sandwich. A and you know what he said when I offered that to him? He said, I don't want that. I want money. I wanted to beat that nigga's ass the moment I heard those words come out of his mouth. Like what, what, like, what the fuck do you mean you don't want this? Nigga looked about anorexic as hell with his face looking like the skeleton emoji talking about some I don't want that. I want money. This man is actually retarded, bro. This is the type of man that can be offered a seven course meal buffet and reject it because it's not money. Does this guy not realize the opportunity that arose for him? He's not going to get this opportunity every day. Hey, I really think he's blessed with this opportunity and he should really make use of this opportunity but no like as soon as he said that my mom and I looked at each other and then we just walked the fuck away but you guys want to know why he rejected the food he wasn't allergic to anything so 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 why would he reject it right well that's because a lot of the time when homeless people reject something that they need in specific in order to survive and be a little more comfortable, so, you know, such as clothing, you know, food, maybe some water, maybe some housing, they usually want money to do drugs or get drunk. In a study by National Homelessness Law Center, the top five reasons as to why people are homeless are because they can't afford housing, they are unemployed, they have a mental illness and can't get help, or they are addicted to drugs or alcohol and don't have the funds to get help. Listen, bruh, with money, you can buy anything. It isn't limited to certain items unless if it was a gift card made for a certain establishment. I'm not saying that every homeless person would use the money that I give to them in a negative way. I'm just saying that you don't know every single homeless person that you give money to. Maybe one person that you give money to will actually use it to the fullest potential, but another homeless person may use it to harm themselves, bruh. And considering that there is that very likely possibility of them using the cash to do something something bad to themselves, I want to take away all odds of that happening by not giving them money at all 
and instead, you know, maybe giving them some food or water or clothing. And for the ones that reject anything I give to them other than money, you know they want to do some meth or smoke the devil's feces or some shit. Obviously, it's not good to judge homeless people, you know, especially since we don't know exactly what's going on in their current situation. But hey, bro, the statistics are there, and I want to alleviate any possibility of me potentially helping a nigga get stoned to their debt. But hey, that, that, that's just me. For the people that do give money to homeless people, that's cool. That's fine. I'm not going to come after you for what you do with your money. I'm just telling you why I will never do it. In my opinion, the best thing that you can do to help a homeless person is food. Yeah, it's probably the most easiest thing to do, especially for the people that don't have resources to do exponentially more things for the person. You know, homeless people are always hungry. They're, they're always in need of some sort of fuel. So food is probably the way to go. Like at the end of the day, we all gotta care for ourselves too, you know? Like most of us ain't Mr. Beast, but whenever you are able to help out or you think you are able to help out, you know, time to time, just do it. But if you do have the money and resources available and you wanna help by all means, you know, do what you feel is best to aid the homeless. But me, you, you'll never see me give a single dollar towards a homeless person. And, and I, I'm saying that respectfully. Like, no, no hard feelings. Break a leg! Real trap shit! Bye, bye. Yeah, bye. Yeah, yeah.